Hey guys, today I'm going to show you three of my favorite digital art apps. Here they are, Procreate, PixArt, and Art Studio. So let's go ahead and check out Procreate. You can choose a blank sheet or one already made. Let's go ahead and choose the character. Alright, so on the top we can see the different types of brushes we could use in our drawings. We could also choose the color on the top right. There are lots of variations as you can see. And we can adjust the opacity on the right, as well as the size on the left. And this is how it looks. We can undo everything on the top left corner. There's also the smudge tool. We can change its appearance, opacity, and size like a brush. So here's an example. And finally, we have the eraser. Oh, and you can always import more brushes, as you can see over here. So Procreate is actually a paid app. I think about $3.99 for the Pocket Edition in the App Store, but artists tend to like this a lot because it enables you to make great art like these ones. Now let's check out my favorite free ones. Let's click on PixArt. What's cool is that it's a picture editor and collage maker app as well. Let's choose the drawing option for the purpose of this video. So here you can choose various textured backgrounds to draw on. And on the top, different sizes are available. Let's have a look at the brushes. They're actually way more than Procreate has, and as you can see, there are lots of settings and adjustments you can make, which is awesome. So here's an example. And as usual, there is an eraser as well. Oh, and you can add text to your art as well. Lots of creative fonts are at your disposition. Another cool thing is that you can draw with layers. There are many color choices and different ways of creating your own colors. What I really love about PixArt is that you can actually record your art. I will show you a quick example. So I'll just make some scribbles. All right, so now let's stop and let's actually view it. As you can see, it actually works. Being able to record is actually my favorite feature on this app. Um, it has lots of tools and it's completely free on the App Store, so it's quite worth it and you should download it. Now, last but not least, Art Studio, which is actually a free app as well. I really love the clean and clear layout of this app. There are lots of types of pencils and lots of settings similar to PixArt. There is a wide variation in options for wet paint brushes too, and finally normal paint brushes are present as well. You can scroll down here for more tools. Again, there are lots of colors to choose from or to even make yourself, which is quite nice. And you can add text, uh, use the smudging tool. Uh, here's a quick example. And yeah, many other tools uh, are available as well, but it, it'll be too long to showcase right now. Uh, there are layers in this app too, so check that out. So all in all, this app has lots of tools, and the great part is that it's all free. Alright, so those are my current favorite digital arts app. Feel free to get them from the App Store, I highly recommend them. Let me know what your favorite digital art apps are in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.